everybody. Terry from D-Lab with another tech tip for you. This time we're going to talk about how to check that output transformer out of your Fender Princeton. See if it's actually working right. Make sure it's not shorted. Save you some uh, troubleshooting. So watch the following video and I think it'll be helpful. Alright, well here we go. Now this is actual Fender Princeton output transformer. You see it's got a dent here. Don't know how that happened. However, this is an old stock vintage transformer. It's never been used, okay? So the first thing we'll do is let's identify the leads. All right, this is your primary side. The red goes to your B plus. And then you got the blue and the brown that goes to the plate of each output tube, all right? And over here, you got your secondary side. This is your speaker output, okay? Usually eight ohm. So the first thing, of course, you want to do, get your trusty multimeter, okay? And let's short the leads and go down to low syringe. Make sure your leads themselves are good or it can fool you, all right? Now what I'm gonna do for the fun of it, let's look at the secondary side first. There it is, half ohm. You'd say, what the heck, it's supposed to be eight ohms. No, it's called impedance, all right? So we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to go back to the primary side. Let's go to the positive end. And we'll go to each side of that center tap. So those are 190 ohms. 191 ohms. Well, that thing is like really close. Okay. Now, if we went across the primary, you'd see 382. So this is a pretty well balanced transformer. Now the next check that you want to make, you know that your primary and secondaries appear to be okay. But one thing you never want to happen is you don't want the secondary to have any continuity to the primary. That'd be really bad, wouldn't it? You'd be throwing like four or 500 volts into your speaker. So range up, make sure that you don't see any continuity between those two windings, all right? The other thing you want to do is take one of your leads, go to the case of the transformer, and now you're looking for shorts to ground, okay? Or shorts to case. So here we are, secondary to the case. Now range up. I don't see anything up to two megs. Call that good, all right? So let's disconnect that. And you grab any lead of the primary, okay? Because they're all, as you know, connected to each other, okay? Same deal, let's range up. So, you know, it appears as though this is a good transformer. But now the best check is to put this transformer on an impedance meter, okay? That's what this is. This is a turns ratio meter. And I can look at this transformer and I can tell you if it's the right one for your Princeton. So here we go. All right, so I have your transformer under test hooked up. Primary is going to the two leads that would go to the plate caps of your tubes, okay? Secondary, meaning your 8 ohm speaker, is going to this output meter, and this meter is set up to zero to three volts, okay? And we're gonna look for one volt, which is right about there, right about that red mark if you can see it, okay? I'm gonna bring up the voltage until I start seeing output here. And I'm gonna set my output to see a volt. So there it is, about a volt, okay? Looks like I'm about 30 volts on the input. My scale that I'm using here is zero to 100 volts. So if we take our trusty calculator, we say, okay, I see about 30 volts times 30 volts equals that magic number. And I've got an eight ohm speaker, so we'll say times eight equals 7,200 ohms of impedance, all right? Which is perfect for a set of six V6s. So this would be the proper transformer. And as you can see, it tests out fine. So I'd pop this jobber in your amp and have some fun. Well, there you have it, another free tech tip from D-Lab Electronics. Now, I know that everybody doesn't have to be a rocket scientist when it comes to checking these transformers, okay? You can buy them, they got the specifications, and off you go, all right? However, if you did have a pile of these things or you're working on amps and you're wondering, do I have some type of an impedance issue, maybe some shorted windings? You need to get a ratio meter. They are available out there, but they're pretty pricey. D-Lab custom builds these. 
This is one of them. I've got three. I might be, uh, you know, coerced into letting one go. Just shoot me an email. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun with it. Hope you did too. And by the way, the wine's good. See you.